I think Lake Tamami is such a special place for me because it brings me closer to my cousin. I know he's gone, but a little part of him kind of sits and resides with me and when he when we come to Lake Tamagami, I just feel like I'm right there with him and enjoy every single moment with him. So this is Lake Tamagami. On. Honor? On. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. All right. That's a nice fish. That's a beauty. Oh, I love it. We're riding. The thick of northern Ontario, and it's it's hard to it's hard to get better than this. This is beautiful. Welcome back to another episode of Backlash Angling. This is part two of our three and a half day excursion to Lake Tamagami. As you can see, a little bit of different scenery here. <coughs> I'm in the our separate hut, not our main hut where we stay in, but uh, just like uh, our second hut that's in about 85 feet. So this hut's actually been getting quite quite a bit of action the last couple days, a lot more than the main hut. So I stationed myself out here, Zach and Kenzie are in the main hut, and my dad's out here. So the two of us got a bunch of tip-ups right on the bottom, going for some whiteies, and then I got a just like a UV light spoon tipped with a minnow. I could get some whiteies on that, I could get a lake around this so hopefully we get into a couple fish real soon we're just baiting up the hole right now and uh yeah we're gonna catch you at the first fish hopefully it's not too long smoke a big cigar and they seem to sense it and they come in. So I'm on my whippy rod, it goes down, I grab it, set the hook, and I fight and it's taking a line, fight and it's taking a line. I'm screaming for you guys because it's not there. I get it all the way up and it gets wrapped in the... You didn't take the transducer cord? The transducer cord, oh, no. right? It gets wrapped and then thing, and then all of a sudden my line's gone, right? It's broke. But then I look and the fish is still there oh my God. in the transducer cord. <laughs> so I reach down and I grab it and pull the whole thing out, pin it against the side, and then finally got it and got it out of the hole. Oh, the yeah. line broke and the fish was in the water. And so then That's I see. That is a fatty dude. That's yeah. a beauty. It's a good fish. Pretty one, pretty one. You're good, very nice. Yeah, we got our. What is that? 25. 25 inch? Yeah. Those are big points. Big points! Alright, let's get a release out of here. Can we, uh, have you guys? No. Nice. Right, here we go. Nice. Let him go, let him go, yeah. baby. Alright, so I'm kind of pissed off right now because <laughs> these two idiots can't get this pan optics to work, so of course, technological chase comes in to, to save the day and. Charges it. That's all it was. We just need a little charge. So that's a beauty. Probably would have been my fish. Whatever. Not a big deal. Not bitter. Sour. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been. But we're gonna go back out to that outside hut. These guys got their their gear working now. So let's get another one. I know ice fishing is is a large portion. It's all about the fishing. But honestly, out here. Sure, we're not just smacking them. We're not getting numbers like crazy, but those do, those fish do come and they're awesome to catch. But truly, honestly, the beauty out here is hard to, hard to describe. I guess unbelievable out here. Right now, we got a little slight dusting of snow. A little bit of snow, but just we're right up here. We're right in the thick of northern Ontario and it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to get better than this. This is beautiful. So hopefully we can get some more fish. And we're just gonna take everything in because this is our last day and we'll be up here for another year. Love it up here. All right, so we headed out to our walleye spot for the, the late afternoon, evening bite. We are sitting in about two feet of slush. It is disgusting. So, we got about two and a half hours. We only have three fish for our cook tonight, so we definitely need to bang out some more wallies. 
Hopefully we can get one on the board real quick here. Just gotta adjust this. Got a boy? Got a boy? Oh yeah, you're on the one. What are we guessing here? Uh, I'm gonna say about a 13 incher. 13. Woo! There you go. Hey. 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 Nice one. There you go. Hey. You're on the one of the like, uh, baby. Okay, a 14 incher then. Pretty close. Look at that. That's golden. I'm gonna say that's a 15.5. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yummy. What you, how you feeling? <laughs> what is this f***ing prime? You guys may be catching fish out here, but I am so warm in that nice Rapala hut, baby. Hey, Let's go get some more. Honestly, we're getting right into the prime time though. We were a little early coming out here, so it's probably right around 4 now, 4.30 maybe. Yeah, getting into them. Let's hit it. On. I got one. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Not big. On the screen or on your line? Oh. Here we go. What? Little Wally. Alright. So I just got little Walter. <laughs> About 14 inches. She's tiny. She ain't big at all, but she'll definitely do. I was just jigging right there on the bottom with a little UV. Little UV on spoon. A, on the so you throw a little uh yeah, I did see it on the hummingbird. You just with that UV spoon you just light them up with a nice little uh flashlight and then when they're down low in this dark water they just light up real nice and good and then just tip it with a, a minnow she's a beauty look at that pectoral fin giving you a shoal love it she's definitely going in the pan tonight get a couple more of these and we're gonna be eating good I'm gonna keep jigging this camera's getting pretty cold so it looks like it's gonna die I'm gonna get my line right back down and hopefully there's a couple of them down there that's how she goes Fish. Fish. Oh, I got a lake arm tangled. Oh, cluster. <laughs> Fucking cluster. What? I got a fish, but I'm cluster. Fuck. We're gonna lose it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. I gotta explain this to you because this was <laughs> so awesome. You got one, you got one. Okay. I'm straight up, so I'm jigging this thing, and all of a sudden, pan optics, about 20 feet up, big blob comes in. I bring up my jig, hot and heavy right to it. They just, the two dots connect, and boom, set the hook under. It was so cool. That right there was, I once again, I don't have what it, the stuff on pan optics, but that is honestly why pan optics is so cool. I watched the blob 20 feet of water, and then Woo! it just came in super hot. Nice laker right there. That's a beauty. Oh, I love it. I love it. She's a little bloody, so I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get her a quick measurement on here on her rod or something like that, and then I'll put her back in because I don't want to run back to the cabin. One thumb, one thumb pass. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 she's spazzing! <laughs> oh my god, go down! Oh, this is the most unclean there. Nice. That was. I don't think I've ever seen anything more dirty than that. She's lively though. Oh, that was so cool. That one?
I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh. I'm stuck. What's going on? What happened to the ride? It's too much ice. ice. Oh yeah, there's a bit of weight there for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of weight. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Got her. Oh, it's a oh. tank. It's a tank. It's a tank. That's a tank. That is a big one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. That's a beauty. Yeah. Get her on hooked and then we'll get a sure. good close Everyone up. We've got here. a good grip on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's there a she. tank. That yeah. is a big walleye. And a boy. Get a here. That hand that's there. Yeah. Woo! Wee. Anyway, put hand this. There you go. Hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> a boy. Hey. All right. So that one was just on, just a simple, about half ounce, half ounce uh, jig with just a big minnow. That is a slob. I haven't seen that big of one in Tomogamy a few years that we've been up here. So that's a tank. I'm pumped. I want to get back in the hut. I want to get jigging. I want it for myself. All right, we're gonna keep going. This camera is cold and is gonna die soon. Ah. All right, there is awesome. That's the coolest thing. One thing I love about ice fishing is how much of like a team sport it is. Like out on boat, don't get me wrong. And musky fishing, it is a team sport, and it's it's a big one for everybody. But having a buddy that isn't first off this first time ice fishing, and then pretty much yeah, like just a newbie to get a big fish, big walleye like that. That's awesome. That's it makes just the trip so much, so much better. And it's exciting to see. I'm, I'm jazzed up. Hopefully, I can get one too. But if not, great night. So we've completed the second annual Lucas Grand Memorial Ice Fishing Championship and this year it was won by a rookie who came through uh, last night with an incredible 23 inch walleye to rip the trophy out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, welcome Perfect. and congratulations. Thanks very much. And then we'll see you next year. Perfect. What do you, what do you got to say for the camera? Hey, hell of a time. Really uh, happy you guys invited me. This is just, like, I don't know. Skinner's luck, I guess, but look forward to hopefully coming back next year and yeah, had a blast. <laughs> so that kind of caps off the rest of the, the tournament. Great weekend out here. I just wanted to kind of break it down for anybody who is thinking about potentially doing one of these on ice bungalow trips. So pretty much this is the setup you got. As soon as you walk through, you got the door right here. You walk in, you got just like a little kitchenette set up. It's nice and simple. Pretty much everything you need. And then you got your four bungalows. This is just a four-man hut. You can get a six-man hut, two-man hut. And then it comes pretty much equipped with like all the plates and cups you need. You got all your cooking stuff. And so that's the main hut you got. And then if you head outside, a little windy today, but you got your outhouse out here. And then you got the second shack that was actually had a lot of the luck from this total week. And then you're pretty much set up in this little kind of like village that <laughs> he sets up. So we have a six man hut over there. We got their little side hut and then we got a two man and a four man over there. So it's pretty cool for uh, when you're out here, you get a pretty good community feel going. We actually met a couple guys from Mississauga that were out there, they're a good time. And then we had a couple guys from London over here. So it was awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you get. And uh, depending where you go, there's only a couple lakes that I, I know of that actually do the on ice bungalows, but it's well worth it. And like I said earlier, uh, just the scenery up here is unbelievable. So, thanks for uh, watching the Tomogamy series. And uh, like I said, uh, we should have a bunch of content for 2019. So, smash that subscribe button and uh, keep updated on the next video. Thank you very much.